Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. Uh, jumping back into Outbreak, so I did a video on this Outbreak mode before, not knowing there was like a main quest to do. I thought it was just a fun addition that they added. Um, two Cold War zombies that they just kind of wanted to do like an open world experience for players. Come to find out there is a Easter egg for this, so I'm gonna try and get the Easter egg done. And it does start in round three, or in world three. So I'm gonna go through and kind of do, try and do like all the like side objectives in world one and two, um, and also in world three, and then I'll start the Easter egg. So I will see you all in world three when I officially start the Easter egg. Okay, so we are here in world three, um, and I have completed like all the like, main side objectives. So now I'm gonna work on the uh, radios. So the first part of the Easter egg is getting these radios. Okay, here it is. Okay. Feedback, so feedback, feedback means zombie horde. I think it's supposed to normally tell like a frequency to tune everything to. But I'll take the zombies. I'll take all the essence I can get. Active static noise five. Okay, so that's where I need to go. What I need to tune them all to. So the first one should be yep right here. Four, five. Okay. Next one should be down below here, I think. Yep. So feedback, feedback, feedback. Give me zombies. So the first time I uh, tried Outbreak out, it was also my first time just trying Cold War zombies. And I did okay. Like, I feel like, you know, this is an open world, so it's kind of similar to Modern Warfare zombies. Um, ooh. Take that. Um, active static noise two, three, four, five. But yeah, so I did kind of fine because it's very similar to uh, Modern Warfare zombies being um, open world. But then it was it wasn't as easy as Modern Warfare zombies in my opinion. I was struggling a little bit. But now that I've played Cold War a little bit more, I've done. Um, two of the round based it definitely like does feel easier now <laughs> being here so that's kind of nice kind of come down here okay three four Five. Okay, and now I think you're supposed to go to back to this. I think and interact with it again. Loyal soldiers of Nice. Remember me? It's been a while. Feels like it anyway. Take that device to the beacon. We need to talk. You and I. Okay. So now I can go do the main objective. Essence capacity at maximum. Conversion process. Conversion complete. Dead wire. But 
I don't want to... Okay. So I didn't... Oh! Wait, this one's under attack? What? What? I didn't realize they'd both be under attack at the same time. Get off my extractor. Samantha Maxis. Are you there? Good. That device isolates a special frequency all beacons share. Requiem cannot listen in right now. You remember Ravanov? You should. It's hard to forget. He's in the mountains. He needs my help. I need you to find him. Okay, and so from my understanding, I can now warp. I mean, technically, I could go do other things, but I think I'm good. I got all the side quests done, so I'm going to warp. Okay, so the monkey, I feel like, should be around here. Ooh. Oh, it's an intel. I thought that was uh, instead of my war machine. But, okay, here's the first monkey. Oh, and it's next to the M. Oh, perfect, this is the one I needed. Oh, that's really lucky. That's it. The dead drop Ravenoff left for me. Do you think you can find a way to view the flights? Sure. Um, normally, yeah, there's like multiple of those around the map. And you have to go find the one that's next to the M and then interact, then shoot it. And I lucked out that it was the first one I come across. Okay, so now to go find the... Ooh, hello. Let's do you really quick. Okay, so I think I'm going to complete all the other side objectives before I go and do the uh, microfiche and then the main objective for this map. Okay, so got all the, like, main objectives, or side objectives, I guess, done. Um... Now I'm going to go do the microfiche, which should be in this boat. There you are. I thought I heard beeping. Okay, so we should interact with this. Operatia Inversia. You must travel to Ruka. Find Ravanov. We must try to stop this. Pretty cool. Okay, so I believe now we should be able to travel to the next area, and it should be Ruka, which is going to start the kind of, like, last part of this Easter egg. You're welcome. Harvester team is KIA. Oh, that's right. I still have to do the main objective. <laughs> I only hope your team proves less fragile than my own. Search the area for those harvesters. Disengage the Aetherium canister and bring it to the rocket. So I think I'm good. The only thing would be, yeah, to get 30,000 to be able to pack a punch this to level 3. So, I am going to... I'm going to just risk it, though, and say, screw it. 
can just go. The world grows harder. Still in one piece? Good. You've been here before, yeah? I trust you know your way to the silo. If those missiles are here, that's where you find rubber. Tell hell that wood sent you. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go complete all the side objectives. Because it would be nice to pack a punch. My. Um. Ray gun. They're dead. So let's kill this. Orda here. Okay, so let's go to the main objective. So I now have ray gun pack punch three, my main gun pack punch three. It is legendary, so it is max. Got three plate vest. I've got all the perks. I think I'm about as set as I can be. Right in the brain box. Because from my understanding, um, once you oh hello, right on me. Uh, once you go down this elevator shaft, you can't come back up here and do anything, but you still apparently can upgrade stuff down there. It's just probably easier to get it all done here. I'm really debating, though. Do I want... Do I want... Uh, Dead wire is my ammo mod. I'm gonna go put on brain rot because I just feel like it is kind of nice to randomly turn things to fight for you. So I'm gonna go put on brain rot. Let's go. Okay, so I need to lift the lockdown, which honestly, every video that I've watched, they're like, oh yeah, just go over here, lift the lockdown, but I can't really figure it out, so I'm just going to run around, oh, hello, dude, uh, I'm just going to run around until I figure it out. I know, once you get close enough, it pings it. This looks like it. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that was easier than I thought. Go. Find the launch keys. I will prep the missiles. That was a cool little cutscene. Okay, so now I must go find the keys. Now again, the stuff that I've seen, uh, it's kind of hard to really figure out, but we're going to just give this a try. I like know what each step I'm supposed to do. I just uh, don't know exactly where to complete them. Oh. Okay, hold on. This is good. I feel like this is one of the areas. Yep, yep. Oh, oh boy. Let's get out of here. Okay, um, how can I get back to where that is? I think it was this one? Yes, this is it. I think down one of these is supposed to be a body. Here. Okay, let me just kind of clear up behind. Perfect. And he's supposed to have a key. Which spawns this guy. You take him out nice and quick, or as quick as we possibly can. Oh, hello, another one. 
Oh, there's more mimics spawning. My goodness. Let's bring them out over here. Gotcha. Okay, did he drop something? I don't think so. Oh, key. Yes. Well, that mimic I was say I heard something. Easy, but we secured the key. Okay, so I'm in B, and I think this is where I'm supposed to do the next step. Is it right there? Look at that. Purge Ethereum. Okay, so now I'm supposed to go around and collect. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Wow, that guy looked like Doom. Let's go deposit what I have. Okay, time to go collect more. These ones have respawned. Nice. Okay, and then give it a sec to do its thing. And apparently we then take it over to D-Wing. It's uh, smart and not get caught in that corner. Stuck there. Okay, let's pick that up. Okay, so gotta get to D Wing now. I have no idea how to get to D. I'm gonna guess it's through here. Oh, wait, I don't have the container anymore. I think. Is this D? D. Okay, here's the jellyfish. Okay, I think because I had. Um, Because I had picked up the, or I had activated my field upgrade and then picked it up. I don't think it actually picked up that item. So, got to go back to B, try and grab that again. BRB, let's go down. Oh, okay, I do have it. Okay, let's go back up here. Well, I'm at a bit of a loss because Supposed to be here. So I'm gonna try and recharge my field upgrade and see if maybe that'll give it back to me. Or maybe I just went to the wrong spot in B. Okay, so it's charged back up, but it's it's not the right thing.
Oh. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, I found it on the ground. Oh, I'm so happy. I really thought I was going to have to uh, just redo this whole thing. Okay, so you should just do it here. Hello, Jelly. You got its attention. Now, grab the key. Where's the key? That Ethereum oh. works, Ravenoff. We've recovered the key. Woohoo! One more. We are making good time. I didn't even see where it was. I just started pressing F. <laughs> okay, here's where the trap is. Got that. Oh, but it's a bummer. I will now lose my... Um, here's the monkey, right? Oh, nope. Don't see him anymore. I think he moved. Oh, nope. There he is. So apparently... You gotta kind of throw it near him. And then he'll jump out? Okay, so now I need to find, I think it's these computers, and from an A, B, and D, interact with these. Okay, so A is not the first starting point. Nope, I'm going to kind of clear this up a little bit first, trail them out of that entrance. Option to interact here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. My goodness, a little crazy here. Okay, what does it say? Okay, so D is the first. Let's try B. Let's see if it's DBA. Okay, so it's got to be DAB. If I can make it in time. Ooh. Just in the nick of time.
Okay, gotta go up. I got lucked out that it was right here. Oh, here it is. Here's where the boss fight is. Hell yeah, I made it to the boss fight. Get me into this fight. Oh, that's right. I've got the ray gun. Oh boy. Where'd you go? You're a big guy in the sky. How how could I have lost you? There you are. No, that's not it. What the heck? No, oh, there you are. I gotta be a little careful of what's going on in the ground around me. But I really should be mainly focusing on him. There we go. Oh no! Oh, okay. I feel like I've heard there is a station to buy out here, so I should probably try and go uh, buy a self-revive. What is happening to me? No! What? What? Oh no! I was stuck in something! Oh, that's a bummer. Well, that's a bummer. I didn't get it, uh, the boss defeated, but it felt nice to just get there. Um... I do feel like just running through these Easter eggs, uh, making it to the boss fight, is just a lot of fun. This game itself, I think the zombies experience is so enjoyable. I'm so glad that I have kind of started to go back and play this after getting into Modern Warfare Zombies, uh, because this has just been a very fun experience. I think overall Outbreak itself is a really cool balance between the open world of Modern Warfare Zombies, but the kind of round based of uh, you know, Cold War. Granted, it's not those really tight enclosed areas that you normally would find in a round based, but uh, until you kind of do the Easter egg where you're in those silos, it kind of is the tight quartered. But honestly, the that tight quarters was not as challenging as the tight quarters that I've seen in D Machine and Firebase Z. So I found that kind of interesting. But maybe it was also because the round was relatively low. I don't know if like for outbreak the round you know is kind of a direct correlation to the world that you're on i know each world you know it says it gets harder or whatever and you can definitely tell with the health pool of the zombies but i don't know if it's a direct one-to-one -one for round number but anyway that's a lot of fun i think the next one then is uh mauder der toten if i remember correctly so i'll probably try and work on that next but I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Till the next one, peace.